Some conditions of fetuses and placentas are difficult to treat after delivery. Without prenatal treatment, some diseases can lead to the death of fetuses and newborns, or to serious disorders after birth. The cutting-edge treatment for such conditions is called intrauterine fetal surgery. An example of it is the twin-to-twin -twin transfusion syndrome, in which some percentage of identical twins share vascular communications in the placenta. If untreated before birth, one fetus may suffer from insufficient blood flow, while the other from excessive blood flow, eventually causing prenatal death of both. In this case, laser photocoagulation of the vessels between the twins could shut the flow of communications and both babies are likely to be saved. ただ、従いまして、それを達成するためにはもっとも高度な医療機器を使いこなさなければいけない。ところが今までの胎児手術の手術機器というのはその専用の手術機器はほとんど存在してないんですね。ですから、そのための手術機器を我々が新たに開発するしかない
it is 50 times more sensitive to light than regular cameras. This camera uses camera tubes that employ the technology called HARP. To further reduce its size, researchers worked on developing a HARP imaging plate, and this plate was applied to the endoscope in our project. This is the ultra-high sensitivity, high-definition HARP endoscope, which was developed specifically for this project. In comparison with the current endoscopes, it is capable of capturing images with an LED light of much less intensity by a factor of 100. Specified intense light source will no longer be required. Let's see how differently this new endoscope can perform using a model of the uterus with a fetus inside. The new endoscope and a current endoscope will be inserted into the uterus model, both without any particular light source and under room light. Hardly anything can be seen with the current endoscope, but the new endoscope can provide clear images of what's inside the uterus. The potential damages to the fetus by the light can now be cut to minimal levels with our new endoscope. Freed from the light source, the new endoscope has increased manoeuvrability during the operation. It is also expected to lead to smaller and less expensive endoscopes.